Evolutionary scientists focus on the many similarities between animals to convince the world that they originated from a common ancestor. The similarities only prove that animals created to live in the same environment need a certain number of common functions and abilities. Unfortunately, evolutionists ignore the many differences which prove conclusively that adaptations produce only new species, never new kinds of animals. Most of the world's fruits are 98% water and vary from each other by a difference of only 2%. But that 2% of difference accounts for size, taste, shape and color. DNA codes contain billions of bits of information for each life form. So a 2% difference is actually a huge amount. Everyone can see that scales are unlike feathers and feathers are unlike fur. But how are they different? Well, for starters, they're made from different materials. So a reptile wanting to become a bird has a problem. Where does he get the new materials to change his scales into feathers? And where does the new coded information for these things come from? Even if there was a way for him to acquire these new materials, he would also need a new DNA blueprint to build the new structures. Plus, the existing body parts would all have to be redesigned to make room for the changes. This is why adaptations can only produce new species or variations of existing species.